Alright, so let's get into this one. This is going to be very fun, I think. So we have Zaki, who just 2 1 Ludi earlier, versus uh, Zerfrogzy. Our number one seed of the night. Yeah, uh, Frogzy being a good, uh, really old powerhouse uh, player who has been taking occasional breaks. Primarily because um, he's had problems with his setup not actually running the game that well for some reason. I don't know if that's still the case, but I do know it's been a very re reoccurring problem. It's uh, very nice to see him just uh, make his way uh, back in now that it's a little bit more on home turf. Connections he gets to play with. Yeah, as much the connections to EU are honestly pretty solid across the board for like stuff like EU rocks, but it is nice to be playing people from literally your own country. Yeah, for sure. And so far, it's looking pretty nice and even. Um, Frogsy should not be any big. I, I don't think he should be any big stranger to this matchup because I feel like he just did at least back in the day play with some with uh, people like Looney, for example. Cause they, I think they were active around the same times at one point. And um, he's also just very solid on that are in general he used to be like one of if not the best active that are main back in one of the RCS seasons. Nice. I wanna say it was either like season it was either season one or two. I know it was one of them because it's one of the ones that are no longer currently available on the uh, rivals website. Oh. Yeah, I'm still. We're still waiting for us to be to be fixed. I don't know when that's happening. I'm I'm starting to bore them never. Thank yeah. You With all the things going on in the rivals universe, I'm sure it's not the highest priority. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah, so far we are seeing a pretty nice lead from Frogzy. Uh, but Zaki not super far behind. Getting off stage. Oh, ah, gets a uh, up strong platform. And I wonder if Frogzy was already gunning to just go straight for that or actually reacted to the whiffed F tilt on the platform. That's a good question. Unsure. Uh, it's definitely possible there was a little bit of a reaction where he was just kind of waiting. It's very possible he was standing in position, like waiting to see what option would be picked and then just going in afterwards. Yeah, because I haven't seen anything. Oh, that's going to be a dead. Yeah, that's, that's a dead it's it's a fast one. <laughs> Just every single mistake got punished to the full extent of Zetterburn's kit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So generally, this matchup is very, I'd say, volatile. It's definitely one that's um, one that a lot of maples do not enjoy uh, because just how easy it is to just kind of die off of a hit, like yeah. die off of one whiff, basically. Because maple gets juggled super hard. And dies really early because of, uh, especially because of fire strongs, and uh, it's it can get pretty frustrating. But we'll see how uh, if Saki can compose himself a little bit and actually successfully edge guard. Able we'll to make it out of that situation. I thought you commentators cursed him for a second. He does have a nice little lead right now, but it's going to be very, very easily dissolved, like, right now. Yeah, we keep seeing a lot of people not respecting the flame carpet when it's down, just dashing straight through it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Frogzy trying with the tried and true E setups of, uh, going with second place down strong. Yeah, it's interesting, like, when I've been playing more and more people from the server, it feels like the people that play rivals predominantly never tech in, whereas all the Smash, uh, all the Smash players, um, that <laughs> have switched over to rivals always tech roll in and get blown up by stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're tech in place around here. Uh, it's, it's like how Fox has to tech in place shine and melee or something, we used to tech in place down strong. It is in our blood, it's what we do, and, uh, Zaki currently looking kinda nice, actually. See, oh, this could potentially be it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just strong. Very nice, very nice. Oh, try to be cheeky with the, uh, um, run-up reverse, uh, side special. So the reason why, uh, some maples will do that is because it does mix up which angle you'll be sending at, which trips up some people's DI, because they'll just be expecting, like, oh yeah, side special is coming, time to just DI for that. And then you alley-oop them because of the fact that these 
are ready to die for the first one. It does, however, mean that, like, it's still a very similar timing that you'll be coming after them with, so parrying is still very much counterplays both of the different ones. Oh, this should be it if he just does it right. Oh, yeah. very nice, very nice. So, yeah, um, another percent doing that is uh, completely true. Uh, down strong reseed uh, into down strong fair. Uh, down strong tever fair is complete, uh, or down strong east tever in general. Completely true, pretty much across the board, because it's got really solid hits done. Now, Tsuki did there, instead of doing something like a forward air, which could have just kind of killed. Um, what ended up happening is that he did Nair, went for the up air, which he didn't do the exact DI for to get caught by, because if they DI in on the Nair, you can suddenly just fall off an up air, assuming the Nair doesn't kill itself. Uh, but then, because of the fact that Sprouts, he kept going high, thankfully caught it without special, and that was the game for Zaki. Uh, okay, so next up is Merchant Port. This is a stage I would say both of these characters do really solid on. Uh, I wouldn't say this like has any particular uh, but this like importance for the matchup. More so, this is probably a bit of a comfort pick. The stage that Proxy is like playing on it does allow for some a lot of nice just platform movement thanks to well both the side and the top platforms allowing for just kind of zooming around the stage. Yeah, this seems to be like the go-to counter pick of choice for a lot of Zeta burns in EU. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice stage and a very much one that is like well liked in general. Really, really nice pepper stuff there from Lucky. Okay, gets caught by back here up strong, but that's fine. Yeah, if you're playing from behind for most of that, to take the first stock and lose it immediately, you take the reset. From Zaki. All right, yeah, yeah I, I respect this reading there instead of going harder. Oh, that almost, uh, that was almost really slick if that other downer also hit. Nice. Just waiting and reacting, seeing what the guy was. And... Oh, that special was really nice. Oh, what's the guy gonna be? Is it gonna be good enough? It's good enough. Oh, this should be a kill. He doesn't have resources. Yep. Alright, wow, Zaki, I, I feel like the carrot I gave him is really working right now. <laughs> he's uh, hard he's committing. He's recognized that now that you're here, there's no way he's getting back on the microphone, so he's gonna take it all the way. <laughs> but once again, he's <laughs> getting uh, parried on the side B, punished to the full extent of the kit. Even here, for the most part, there's not much of a lead. Basically, one, oh, one string. The one thing I've been seeing now from Zaki, which I would not want to see, is that he's been putting himself in the corner a lot. He's kind of letting Frogsy have center stage, which is not what you want to be doing. But I also understand like why he can be a little, might be a little bit scared of go is going in there because Zetter is a scary, scary fire lion. Oh, there finally catches the tech in place. Um, he's been he was trying that for a little bit, like pretty much he had recognized that Frogsy was doing it a lot, but he was mistiming it fairly frequently. But with that one, he is now up 2 1 against Frogsy. So let's see what Frogsy's potentially final counter pick will be. Because I I wouldn't be surprised to see Arius repick back to Merchant Port. Uh if I'm gonna be honest. There's definitely a lot of every, but there's a lot of stages in this game, so you can never be too sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think there was anything wrong with the stage pick itself. It just felt like uh, Frogsy got reverse edge guarded on that first stock and lost his lead pretty early. And both times it wasn't he wasn't getting like massively outplayed. Just some unfortunate conversions getting dropped and getting really punished for it. Oof. Uh, Alright, so we have a connection drop here, so there'll be a little bit of time between our game uh, or yeah, starting. Yeah, yeah so that, that, this, this goes back to what I was mentioning earlier, where, um... Um, Bugsy's had some issues with, uh, running, uh, rivals in the past with his, like, uh, just this computer in general. So this probably harkens back to that, whereas he has slight, slight his performance problem. Fair enough. Uh, what does um, Frogsy play on in terms of control set? 
Is he on um, Xbox controller or is he on a Nintendo? GameCube. Okay, GameCube. So hopefully, when the definitive edition comes out, you have to switch on to a, <laughs> something that isn't actively trying to die playing rivals. <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting to see how the offline scene handles that. With um, like obviously keyboard gonna be an interesting input to try and get working on the Switch, which I assume would become like the tournament standard once it comes out. Yeah. All right. We have our very connect. Uh, so scores two one. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so I assume there will need to be an SD unless he's just picking back to the starter. In which case they could just well, could yeah. To one of them. Well, imagine Pot is on the Let's field. All right, it's been struck out. So we're probably getting a reset here. Yeah. And then we can soon get back, get back to gaming. All right. So let's see. The, the nice thing about this, uh, like, early replay, because at first I was like, uh, Discord streaming, I guess. Sure. But the nice thing about this right is we actually get to see the vans. Yeah. All it requires is like every participant is capable of doing Discord in streaming, which like some people can't, I think, because it does put a little bit of strain on your computer. Not that much, but it does put a little bit of strain on it. So some people might be playing on potato setups, might not be capable of doing it, but it's, it still works. Okay, we'll get that score updated. It is 2 1 in Zaki's favor. Alright, we're starting off with a lead uh, for Zaki. Uh, not anymore, but we're still looking kind of nice. I assume it's just going to be pretty damn even like it's been for the past couple of games. Oh, he's, he's trying to go out there. Oh, no, okay, challenging that. It's it's really tough to react to the Zetterburn now special, especially that height, so I'm not going to blame him for that. Oh, nice! I love it. Um, Because the thing is, what he just did there was a form of delaying his attack because obviously what Froxy was expecting was just like oh, I'm just gonna get like aerial or something right instead Saki is like nah I'm gonna wave land down which delays the attack a little bit and beats out the immediate parry I don't know if he's like the spotting Froxy do that or if it was just like a dumb luck but it's always nice when it, when it works out in your favor especially since Froxy was not prepared to DI for it either but once again uh, despite all that <laughs> A very, very small percent lead uh, at the end of the day when uh, Froxy just turns around and even things up with the upstrong. Yeah. Ooh. Definitely not what Froxy wanted. Uh, Zaki has a really big lead now. Obviously, because it's Zetterbird, it can dissipate in like five seconds, but. But even then, even if Zaki does drop this game, he is leading 2-1. to one, So he'll be able to go into game 5 on his counterpick, which would, you would hope that if he's been playing this well on Froxy's counterpicks, he'll be able to really put in the work on that game 5. Yeah. Oh, this is looking nice. Oh, no! That was a bit of a poor choice from Froxy. He did that when it was a little bit too low, and it means that uh, Grand Finals is now uh, known as... No, not Grand, but Winter Finals is now... Uh, Rivals of Glasgow. It is now. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> finals is not property of Rivals of Glasgow. <laughs>